why would you pull me over instead of someone else? I'm broke. Well, I mean, I'm like I totally said, broke. Oh my God, lady. PTSD. <laughs> You're not gonna let me go, even though we got me legislator. In the afternoon of May 24, 2017, Jennifer Schwartz Berkey was pulled over by Ulster police officer Gary Short. Officer Short approaches her vehicle and asks for her license and registration. How you doing, ma'am? How are you? Do you have your license and registration on you? Yeah. Oh, I know what this is about. My son was calling me and I, because he was asking me when I would be home. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, And I'm running, I, I'm running to, uh, rushing to, why is there something wrong? Okay, the, well, the registration that you have affixed to the window here yeah. expired the 10th of May. Oh, I got a new one. Okay. Uh, I got a new one. I can call it, the clerk. Uh, you can check with the clerk. It's, re it's renewed. I forgot to put it on there. Okay. Um, the reason why, I appreciate you being honest about the phone. The reason why I pulled you over is because when you passed me, you were doing 43 and a 30. That's 13 miles per hour over the speed limit on Ulster oh. Avenue when we were passing the uh, firehouse there on Ulster Avenue. Oh, well, God, I mean, I was moving this put together with everyone. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I can't pull everybody over. I you? understand. Well, let me just tell you, I hope I hope you understand. I, I didn't. I understand. You know, I work for the county, Ulster okay. County government. One and a half minutes into the stop, Officer Short has pointed out two infractions as Berkey haphazardly confesses to another. This is the first time she brings up the completely irrelevant fact that she works for the county as an elected official. She then uses her class as a public servant to sway the officer's decision whether to write a ticket or not. Um, I'm a county legislator. I'm going to meet the consulate right now at the Maritime Museum. Okay. Oh, you're not going to give me a ticket, are you? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't decided I'm yet. I'm completely broke public servant. Okay, I mean, I haven't decided yet. I'm just want, just looking for the documents. Well, there's, here's my card. Okay. I'm going to be late for the consulate. It's okay. It's no reason to cry. Well, no, it is. It's my job, councilman. Okay. Just the driver's license. And do you have the registration to the vehicle? You can have your card back there. I hope I do. Um, and then I have to go to the Ulster County SUNY Ulster graduation. Okay. And now my, I'm supposed to go home and pick up my son to go to these parties. Okay. Please don't give me a ticket. I'm broke. I'm completely broke. Okay, if you just have and to... And if you tell people, I mean, it's going to hurt me. Okay, well, I'm not... I don't know... I'm totally broke. I made $20,000 last year. Okay. Please don't give me a ticket. Do you have the registration? I can't, I can't afford to change my insurance. <laughs> Please. Okay, if you could just try to find the registration for me, I appreciate it. Okay. Please, I'm begging you. I'm, I'm a very hardworking public servant. I'm a county legislator, and I'm trying to find a full-time job. And okay. If you I do this, it's going to hurt me. I it's going to hurt me really badly. Please don't give me a ticket. Right. Ma'am, I mean, the longer they wait, the longer you're going to be here. That's that's the insurance. Do you have the registration card? It should be a little yellow card. Totally, totally disorganized. All right, and this this one's that one was expired in 2011. Yeah, everything is current. I'm just totally disorganized. Okay, you can have that one back there. I'm a single mom. If you if you if you find the registration card, just hold it out the window, and I'll come get it. Okay. Don't give me a ticket. I can't afford it. Okay, just. And I, and, and I was driving at the same pace as everyone. I will defend it. I was, I mean, I... Okay, I, I understand that you were driving at the same pace I as mean, everybody, but if it's over the speed limit, it's over I the speed limit. So why would you pull me over instead of someone else? I'm... Well, it's just bad luck, and I'm broke. Well, I mean, I'm like totally I said, broke. Like I said, I'm totally uh, broke. I'm totally broke. Ma'am, you have to calm down for me, okay? I, I This is very upsetting for me. I mean, every single dollar of my budget, you want to know what my... Okay, I, under you I understand that. It's, it's, I make, it's hard I make for everybody out here, okay? No, okay. it's really hard for okay. me. Let me go back. <laughs> Let me go back and run your information. Going. I'll be right back with you, okay? 
Berkey has tried just about everything to avoid a ticket. Being a single mother, broke, a state official, she even tried to blame the other drivers and the officer for singling her out, and moved to intimidation by declaring that she would contest the citation. There's only a handful of other options she can use to wiggle out of the ticket, and she isn't done trying as the officer runs her information. He finds her insurance and registration are current, and about two and a half minutes later, Berkey takes another swing at manipulating her way out of the ticket. Jesus, lady. Would you like me to call you an ambulance? I can't. Okay, if you want to sit down, I can explain this to you, okay? You better give me a ticket. I'm going to take it to the court because I, I have... Yes. Ma'am, you have to calm down. I have, I have PTSD. Okay. Protest is in court, okay. and you're telling me that you singled me out. <laughs> That's what you're telling me, right? And then everyone was going at the same pace, right? I no, drive on that no. road at 30 miles an hour you, all the time. Are you going to listen to me, or <laughs> yes, are you? I will listen to you, and you're not going to let me go, even though we can be legislator. This is now the third time Berkey has used her official position in an attempt to provide her with personal financial benefit or to secure unwarranted privilege. At this point, the traffic stop is taking much longer than usual, so dispatch assigns another unit to the incident. I, and I always do everything right, and I follow the law, and I was at the same pace as every other car. Ma'am, are you going to let me explain this to you here? Yes, but I am also going to record our conversation. Okay, it's being recorded. We have video right here, and it, the whole conversation has been recorded here, too, okay? okay. You're, more, you're more than welcome to record it, okay? <laughs> All right. Like I said, the reason why I pulled you over was because you were going 43 and a 30, which was 13 over, okay? I was going you at did... the same pace as every car. I couldn't go okay. slower. They honk. They okay, honk at you. That's That was your words, okay? I had you 43 and a 30, which was 13 over. You did admit to me that you were on your phone talking to your son. No, I did... no, I w he was on speakerphone. Okay, that's fine. I didn't I didn't write you a I ticket. I did not admit that I was on the phone with okay, my son. I, didn't, I, I didn't was on speakerphone. Okay, if you let me talk, okay? And then I'll give you a chance to talk, okay? You have to just tell me what you're what you're doing here with the ticket because I am late for a job meeting and I'm going to okay. <laughs> this is my career okay can you can you let and, me explain you have, you're probably friends with all those guys who uh, I, can't, I have to take this into about my son hello 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 I'm 60 if you want to call Jennifer way. Berkey work. I probably lost this job. Okay, Thank listen. you. Thank you. Okay, we'd like to the same pace can as I, the other cars can are I, you're short. Can I explain this I'm to you? I'm going to call Mr. Quigley and tell him about okay. this too. That's fine. I think you singled me out and that everyone was going the same pace. I couldn't have okay, gone I don't, slower. I don't, I don't single anybody out. I'm I'm gonna, I can't I'm, pull every car over. If every car was... So you pick me. Ma'am, you're the one that I observed, okay, going over the speed limit, all right? Can I explain this to you? Jay is on the phone with the sheriff right now. We're going to have a conversation about it. I'd like to I'd like to record this in front of the sheriff. I want to hear about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Would you like me to explain this to you? I want you to explain it to my the county clerk because I don't believe that what you're doing is correct, and I think I know okay, my rights. So well, here we go. 
<laughs> I'm gonna, here's your license back. Okay. How much are you charging me? I'm not charging you anything. Yeah, right. What is it? What's on there? Okay. This is this license here is expired. You I know have I have back. a new one. I, okay. I, I, I took the wrong bag. The registration's the expired Vicky. in the window. Vicky. Yeah, I, I, I have, I've been, I, I, hello, I've been pulled over by She hung up, I think. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Can I, yeah, I've been pulled can over. Can I explain and, this to you, um, ma'am? I want him to explain it in front of you because he pulled me over. I was going the same pace as all the other cars, and uh, I feel like, given what's going on with this thing with the sheriff this week, I can't. I don't know if I can trust local law enforcement, and I need a witness. Okay, well, we're okay, not. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, I'm gonna. Um, I can hear as well. Put you on speaker so we can hear you. Okay. All right, hold on. No, I'm missing this thing with a consulate, and I'm gonna. Okay, well, we're not. There? We're not yeah, the sheriff's department. This is town there. of Ulster, man. I know it's the town of Ulster police, and they pulled me over. I was going at this in this in the flow of traffic. It's in Ulster Avenue is very dangerous. If you go really slow, people. Okay, can I people can I explain this ticket to you, you ma'am? It's very dangerous. Can I explain the ticket to you, please? Okay. Go ahead. Is everybody listening? I can explain it to everybody. Yeah, you could go ahead and use all of this, you know, against me. I, I'm not using I am, anything uh, against you, ma'am. Just a, a hardworking public servant who never break the law. Okay, and I if, throw, I if you would, wallet. if you could just calm down for one minute, I can explain everything to you, and then I'll give you as much opportunity to speak to me as possible. Okay. I tried to explain it to you earlier. Okay, but you haven't stopped talking, so I can explain everything to you. Okay. You already explained to me that you. I haven't explained. I up. haven't explained to you anything about the ticket yet, ma'am. Or well, maybe I'm a little bit traumatized by. I asked you that, and, and I said, "There's, n I don't know. I've never met you before, ma'am. This is the first time I've ever encountered you. Okay? How much talking the about you? Okay. The reason why I pulled you over, like I said, was going 43 and a 30. That was 13 miles per I'm hour going over to the same. Okay. I have, traffic. I've got to this point four times now, and I haven't been able to get past that point because you're interrupting me. I just would like to explain the ticket to you, and then you'll be more. I'll be more than happy to answer no, any of your questions. You told me that you pulled me over because even though everyone was going at the same speed, you had to single somebody out. No, I did not. Those That's were not my words. That's what you said before the. Ma'am, everything started. has been tape recorded. I said I can't pull everyone over, you and can't that's pull everyone over. You can just pull one over that's, that's going at the correct. same pace as that's, everyone else. That's how the police do it. That's safe. We only pull so one car just, over at a time. You just choose one particular person. One particular car that's going yeah. over the speed limit. That's how we they pull them over. They were all going over the speed limit. Okay. I was trying to keep with traffic. All right. Can I explain this to you, please? Guys, I don't consider. I'm, I don't feel safe anymore. I don't feel safe here. Okay, well, everything's being audio and video recorded, ma'am, okay? I don't feel safe around you. You don't feel safe no, around me? No, I don't. Okay, well, I was going to explain to you that the reason why I pulled you over was for the speed, and I was cutting you a break and not issuing you for the speeding ticket. If you can see here, it says no... I have a new license and registration. I, I didn't issue for that, ma'am. You have a valid license and valid registration. You just didn't present that to me. The expired one's in the window, and you presented me an expired license, but I was able to check that on the computer to see that they were both valid. Yes, I know. You did not I get work, tickets for that. I work 24 hours a day just okay. to support my family. Okay, so as, as long as everybody's listening right now, the reason why I pulled you over was for the speed. I was cutting you a break and issuing you for no seatbelt. I'm aware that you were wearing your seatbelt, but this is a non-moving violation. It doesn't occur any points, and it doesn't affect your drive home. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? I could get points. I pulled you over for the speed. I could have my insurance changed. Correct. The speeding ticket was 13 over. That. If convicted, would be four points on your license. So I was cutting you a break and well, not I'm issuing you a speeding ticket. court because this is incorrect. First of all, it's not the right charge. Okay. Well, right. that's that's fine. I will go back and I'm going to issue the speeding ticket no. and and not give you the seatbelt ticket. Just no, hold on, away okay. from no, here. That's, that's, that's okay. okay. Most of the written stories online focus on Jennifer Berkey because of her inappropriate behavior during the traffic stop. Most fail to see the shortcomings of Officer Short. Despite the many accusations Berkey slung at the officer concerning singling her out, he, for some reason, uses his authority to abuse the system for a fellow state official. He admits on camera that he was aware that she was in compliance of the seatbelt code, but wrote her citation for not wearing a seatbelt because it is a non-moving violation and would not affect her insurance or apply points towards her license. But somehow, Berkey talks herself into the original speeding ticket. I have to move 
move out of Ulster County. This is so wrong. Uh, All right, ma'am, here's, here's, here's the ticket that I pulled you over for. It was speed and zone, like I said. I Where, had you going. Can I have a copy of the original one that you brought to me because that was already printed out, so it's on the record. Okay, that's right. This, but can I this have is what I no, you I cannot. This is the ticket that I'm issuing. I don't believe that that's actually I, okay. I'm going to take this one, but I okay. want a copy of the other okay. one. Okay, like I stated, home. like I tried to explain to you before, if everybody's listening. Is this the original one? This is what I originally pulled you over for was speed and zone for speeding. Well, it's the one that you originally printed. Okay, that was for a seatbelt, but that's not what you wanted. You said you wanted I didn't the say ticket that's that not you what wanted. I wanted. What, okay, I, well, what I wanted was okay, well, to understand is, that I that I that I didn't understand what I was. Okay, being well we're over. we're gonna we're gonna go with what I pulled you over for, okay? Which was speed and zone, which is forty three and a thirty. Okay, yeah, that's what the ticket's for. All right. All right so I made the ticket uh, returnable so Vicky, for June fourteenth at five o'clock. Vicky, are you telling me that? 14th at 5 o'clock. Okay, you can make your plea. Is there anything plea. on the calendar at June, 4, June 14th at 5 o'clock, Vicki? No, that's a Wednesday. You can, you can make your plea of guilty or not guilty on the back side of the ticket here, and you can send it in to this address oh, by this date so and I'd time. Would you get a copy of the original one that he made for me? Do you have any questions, ma'am? Yeah, I do. I'm asking you right now. I'm asking you if I would be able to get a copy of the original. Okay, one well, it's it's, it out. it's my discretion on on which ticket that I issue. This is what I issued I've, the other one earlier, right? Okay, but this is what I pulled you over for. I didn't right. pull you over for seatbelt. I pulled you over for speed. So it's my discretion if I want to issue the seatbelt so or the speed. I didn't understand what you were doing, and you went back to get me the other one. No. Okay. All I was asking you before was okay, what well the this, other one was. I've been trying to explain this very nicely to you for I a half hour now, no, ma'am. All I said was I didn't understand. No, you didn't say that I you didn't, didn't understand. understand. You specifically told me was. that's not what I pulled you over for. So I said I would kindly go back and issue the ticket why I pulled you over, and that's what I'm doing, okay? Okay, Vicki, I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay. All right, so this is a speeding ticket for 43 and a 30, what I originally pulled you over for. It's returnable for the 14th at 5 o'clock. So you're saying you kindly went back. You're saying that you kindly went back and yes. made that for me. Yes. I've After been nice. everything I said to you, you've I've been really nice, and you issued me a higher ticket because I explained to you No, I didn't issue a higher very ticket. Kindly this is, that I this was, is the appropriate I, no, no, and you the said ticket you that very, I pulled you over for. I'm not arguing with you. I'm asking okay. you a question. You said that you very kindly went mm -hmm. back to give me something correct. Harsher. I've been kind to you the whole time since I pulled you over. And I think I have been Absolutely. just asking you to be kind. And I think that I've I've explained and tried to so explain so everything all over and over again. Saying that this is kind. That's kind? No, I said I kindly went back. Would you kindly go back and explain to me what the other one no, was this for? Is, this, because I didn't understand. Here's what we're going to you do. See, I didn't this understand is the ticket it. that I'm issuing. I've explained you to you the date and the, the time. It depends on whether you plead guilty or not guilty. I will plead not guilty because okay. I don't think that it was kind what you did. What okay. you did was well, you didn't explain I'm, to I mean, me what the seatbelt was. I mean, that's, was. that's your opinion if you no, don't believe No, I would like you to be kind. Okay, so there's, that's the ticket. Okay? Look, I can't afford this. Okay, well... I just, I, you know what, I already lost that job. It was a job for you. Okay. So now what I will do is I'll just... Are you going to take the ticket or are you not going to take I the ticket? I don't really know what my rights are. Would you tell me? Let's let's just stay okay. here and you can tell me what my rights are. Because well, I didn't I know that my rights were that if I didn't understand the previous ticket, you would make a harsher one. Okay, but this isn't a harsher one, ma'am. This is the appropriate ticket and no, the reason no, no, why I pulled you No, 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 it is harsher. Over. Because what you explained to me before was that the other one would let me off with fewer what? I didn't understand that. Can okay. you explain it? to me again. But then you said to me that that's not the ticket, the reason why I pulled you over. So I went back and I issued the appropriate ticket for you. Wait okay? a second. I'm sorry. All I right. need to record this again. Okay. This is the appropriate ticket that I pulled you over for, okay? No, no, the no. That's not what I'm asking you. Uh, guilty not or not guilty on the back, okay? That's, that's, that's your not what ticket I'm asking. There. I need to, right, I know I need to continue to ask you. Okay. What? No, I need to ask I've you. I've explained everything to you. If you want to speak no, you, again, actually, then you can plead not guilty and I we can discuss it in court. What was the previous one that you issued I've explained everything to you already. But I didn't understand. Okay, and but that's I've, why I I've been here for about 30 minutes explaining it to you. I've already missed my job interview now, and I'm asking you. I have other stuff that I need to do, too. I'm a taxpayer also. in Ulster County. Okay, and I'm I've, also a I've here, in Ulster and I've County. accommodated and you, you no, and I'm I've asking, explained everything to you, you to the best of my ability. One. You didn't yes, explain I the did, previous one to I'm me. not going to argue with you any no, further. I didn't if you have any it. further questions, you can plead not guilty and we can discuss it in court, okay? Will you be there? If you choose to plead not guilty. Yeah, because I'd really like to discuss with you. Okay. You did not. I would like the tape because you didn't explain to me okay. what the previous one You can request that when you go to court. You can request that. 
I've been standing here explaining everything you to you, ma'am. You didn't explain what the previous one meant, and I didn't All right, understand it. Okay, have a good day, ma'am. Berkey was unable to talk herself back into a seatbelt ticket. It's unclear whatever happened with the speeding ticket, but it is apparent that she fought the citation as Berkey's lawyers argued that releasing the dashcam footage would compromise her ability to receive a fair trial. The video was obviously released, just two weeks before she ran for re-election. Of all the issues that matter to me, um, rebuilding the public trust in government, it starts really at the bottom. I'm Jennifer Schwartz Berkey, Ulster County Legislator. Let's put women in their place. She lost the election and her seat as a county legislator. Five different times during the stop, Berkey told Short that she was a state official and dropped the names of three other elected members. Her actions could violate the county's ethics and disclosure law, which under standards of conduct states, a county officer shall not use her official position to take any action in a matter which she knows may provide a personal financial benefit or secure unwarranted privileges or exemptions. However, the ethics board claims that it cannot investigate alleged violations of the law unless a complaint is filed. Berkey never faced charges for her behavior, and Officer Short was praised for his patience.